In this video we're going to complete example one and with problems like this a lot of people get really overwhelmed with it. They read through the question, they think to themselves, I, I can't do this and they, they end up giving up. So what you need to do is don't focus on answering the question first, focus on drawing a diagram first and then move on from there. So as we read the question it says that a helicopter leaves the launch pad doesn't hurt to start drawing before you've even read the question. I'm going to draw a little point here and label it O. That's where the helicopter is starting. It then says that the helicopter travels due north for 52 kilometers. Now north means going up. So we'll travel upwards for 52 kilometers and we'll stop here. 52 kilometers. It then says that the helicopter travels 71 kilometers at a bearing of 110 degrees. So what we'll do here is we need a compass so we can figure out how to do a bearing of 110 degrees. Now the helicopter at this point is up here. It's traveled 52 kilometers north so the compass needs to be such that the center is where the helicopter currently is. All right. So a bearing of 110 degrees, what is that? Remembering that we measure our angles from north. Here's my north arrow that I'm coloring in here. And I know that if I go to east, it's a 90 degree angle, a right angle. I want it to be 110 degrees. Now 90 plus 20 is 110 degrees. So I just need to go an extra 20 degrees here. So this helicopter is traveling in the direction I am drawing right now and it's going to travel in this direction for about 71 kilometers. Okay, so let's keep reading. It says that the helicopter then takes the shortest route back to the starting point. So if the helicopter is at this point in here, to get back to its starting point, the shortest route is a straight line. So it's going to go like so. It's going to travel this direction. I'll even put an arrow so we can see the direction that the helicopter is traveling. It says how far must the helicopter travel to get back to its starting point correct to the nearest kilometer. We want to figure out how far it needs to travel. A distance. We'll label this with x. Okay. Now what you'll notice is that on our triangle we have three sides marked. We don't have any angles. But I can find an angle quite simply in this spot here. That angle is going to be 70 degrees. Why is that? Well I have a 90 degree angle, I have a 20 degree angle here and if I add them up I have my 90 degree angle, my 20 degree angle plus my 70 degree angle. It adds up to 180 degrees. Now if we look here, we, we have a straight line, a straight line, and we learn that angles in a straight line add up to 180 degrees. That's what we wanted. So it's got to be a 70 degree angle here. Now if we have three sides marked and one angle, that means we're using the cosine rule. Now I need to probably clean up my triangle a little bit and, and then start labeling it. So what I'll do is I'll take away any markings that I really don't need. I don't need any of these red markings here. I don't need my compass anymore. I've, I've got my triangle. I've got enough information. And I'm going to label it. I'm going to label, actually I'm, I'm going to rub out a little bit more just to give us some space. I'm labeling this angle here as capital C. I like to label my angles with a capital C. And the other angles I'll label capital A and the one that is actually O I'm just going to change it to a capital B because I need the B to, for my formula. All right now opposite these so opposite capital A is lowercase a opposite capital B is lowercase b opposite capital C is lowercase c. So I'm going to now write my formula down I've got all the information that I need here formula being c squared equals a squared 
plus b squared minus 2ab cos capital C. Now let's substitute. Lowercase c is x, lowercase a was 52 kilometers squared, lowercase b is 71 kilometers, we square that one, minus the 2 times a, a being 52, times b, which is 71 kilometers, times cos of capital C, capital C being our angle of 70 degrees. So all we need to do now is just pull up our calculator and work it out. So 52 squared plus 71 squared minus 2 times 52 times 71 times cos 70. Making sure it's deg or d for degrees at the top, otherwise it will be wrong. Equals, and we get quite a long number, 5219. We'll do it to one decimal place for now. 5219.5 and this is what x squared equals remembering we're trying to find what x must equal so we're going to find the square root of this number all right now what's useful here is we haven't cleared our calculator we've kept the number in there because it's much better if we find the square root of a number that has not been rounded so all we need to do on this calculator is go square root. It's going to put that previous answer in there automatically, equals, and we get 72.246 and so on. Now it said to give a solution correct to the nearest kilometer, which means putting it in a whole number, it's 72 kilometers. Like so. Anyway, that concludes example one. Remember to read the description below for links to work booklets that relate to this video.